Hey loves, welcome back to the channel, Infinitely Guided to Roll. I'm CJ. How you doing, Virgos? I hope all is well with you and yours. I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings during the season for you and your family. So Virgo, this is going to be your September 2020 check-in. Um, and when I was meditating on your energy, what I got was that there's somebody who wants to have a conversation with someone about the... Um, imbalance in the relationship or the home or the children something like that okay every time you try to speak with this person it's like they get defensive there was very uh, immature conversation that is happening also i felt the energy where someone uh, is refusing to look at a situation for what it is okay either you or someone else okay And I got the energy um, just now that you're going to be standing your ground, okay? Holy Spirit, let me get messages of love, truth, and guidance for all my Virgos. Some rising Venus people, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're taking, you're taking a different stand going forward. <clears throat> I feel you're going to have like some type of new beginning. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Virgo. Virgo, Sun of Rising Venus. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Okay, come on, Virgo. Let's see. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Somebody's making a decision. See, you're the alchemist. Okay. So you've really been working hard, okay? Focused and diligent about how to keep this um, connection going, right? About how to keep this connection going, okay? Weighing your options here, okay? I feel like... What's been happening here is that um, there may be low money in the household and you're trying to get the money up. Like it's working out for you, but then, I don't know, maybe you're making the wrong choices or someone in the household is making the wrong choices when it comes to spending, okay? All right, we have the five of cups here with the seven of cups. There's a soulmate connection here, okay? But there's something about this person that, um, has you uh, disappointed okay something has you disappointed and in negative thoughts about this situation here okay maybe um there's some type of emotional baggage that you need to get off of your chest and have a conversation a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person because we do have the two cups here so you still have love for this person right okay for so others of you, you have some choices to make in a connection. You might have left the connection, but you still have options, or you had options inside of this connection. Okay. Then we have the Two of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with the water sign, okay? But I feel like what you're getting you're not satisfied with and that may be why you're feeling this emotional baggage it's like every time i turn around you know what i mean it's the energy of every time i turn around i feel like for those of you who are together but i do feel the energy where you guys are going to be um giving yourself more self-respect when it comes to a connection okay you are the alchemist here with the magician here you're manifesting Okay, you're manifesting, you're feeling inspired, you're making a decision about um, a connection here. And with the Nine of Pentacles and the uh, Magician, this is the energy, like this is you, Virgo, right here, the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like you're the alchemist, you're manifesting your dreams, you're going to be rounded, balanced, stable, you're manifesting stability in your life um, in regards to coins, in regards to, you know, just your own self. And there's going to be a decision that you're going to make in regards to an emotional connection here. You have options. 
but you're not satisfied right now with what you're getting. So you're you're on your way to making a plan here. You're focused, you're dedicated, you're determined to make this plan so that you can feel this way. Because right now, or at least in the past, you haven't been, okay? It's been very disappointing. Even though this is a soulmate, it's been very disappointing. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you're going to look inward, okay? You're going to be the hermit. You're going to look inward and you're going to find your personal truth here. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So this is a spiritual connection, but this is also official and traditional um, beliefs. Okay, this is your belief system. See? Spirit God source. So you're like I said, you're going to look within Figure out your personal truth. Spirit God Source is going to be right there guiding you towards the sun in this situation. Okay? Some of you may have a connection where they live far away. Others of you, excuse me, you may have been thinking about this and thinking about this and going back and forth in your head here. Okay? Um, but there is some hurt here. Okay? With the Five of Pentacles, um, I do feel the energy of someone trying to hold on to someone and somebody else leaving okay and with the ten of swords it's like you're feeling betrayed here by someone who is doing something you know they're they're not upright okay they're not upright and this might be a person that you go back and forth with okay because the two swords there tells me there's a bump in the road or a crossroads, a decision that has to be made, right? You're taking the blindfolds off, but this person, they feel like they're getting away with something and they can always come back and get you again. It's like they know they got you, right? And with the um, four of wands here, I feel like this may be in the home. You may be dealing with a twin flame, that, but there's always, you know, I don't want to say always, but it feels like there are arguments and disagreements in the home here okay mind games and manip manipulation because you can't have that conversation you can't have that conversation with them because they start acting up so you shut down and you don't you don't speak your truth is what i'm feeling okay but you have a whole lot of love for this person but the person that you love kind of stresses you out <clears throat> roles can be reversed with bob transposed for the cross watchers Okay, roles can be reversed throughout this message, but what I'm seeing here is there's somebody who uh, wants to speak their truth. They will, because they're going to give their self self-respect. They're going to look at their personal truth. They're getting tired of this, you know, like I said, um, here we go again kind of thing is what I feel like. Okay, but at the end of the day, you come out with your energy here, the Nine of Pentacles. It's about... A decision that needs to be made in regards to a connection. There's a manifester here who is trying to manifest what they want. Okay? What they want. Now, this portion of the spread will be available in the um, the extension. Okay? Let's clarify the cards for Virgo, Holy Spirit. Um, do I want to use these cards? No. Clarifying the cards for Virgo. Okay. Yeah. You guys have been working hard at trying to manifest this. I feel like it's here we go again, right? I feel like you guys have been working hard trying to build up this uh, this collaboration that you guys have here. Okay. This union that you guys have, but it's hard. It's really hard work. If someone wants to progress, you know. Someone's trying to think of a new ideal to progress, to move this thing forward, because they're not satisfied with what they're getting right now. And you guys can be dealing with just about anyone. The uh, magician is verbal energy as well. It is also for me as a reader, air. It is. Um, Virgo and uh, why can't I remember this card? I am stuck. See, this is the energy I'm think I'm feeling like you guys um 
get tongue tied when you're when you're talking with this person. That's the energy I'm picking up. But this is also Gemini, is what I want to say. Um, the lovers here. That is Gemini as well. Okay, so you could be dealing with just about anybody. You could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign. Okay. of a new practical way of doing things that's a verbal thing right trying to think of a practical way that's good for everybody involved okay all right holy spirit let's clarify the cards for virgo well these are in reverse yeah so we have somebody here who is sneaky within the marriage or this connection there's somebody here who does things their way okay I feel like you give them enough rope, they hang themselves, then you want to have a conversation, and they act up. It becomes a fight. It becomes an argument. Okay? But you're working hard. What I'm also feeling is you're working hard and thinking, overthinking about this partnership. Some of you, this person, you already broke up with them. Okay? Or they... Or they moved away or they left. Okay? This partnership. Because there was options involved. Some of you are confused. You're looking forward to the future with your person. Um, and getting back to happy as opposed to being dissatisfied. Okay? And the reverse is, for me, it's the opposite. It is being, you know, happy. For me. Okay? But you're just trying to figure that out. Yeah, because the four to the five, that is love. That's why you're stressed. You love this person. And this is a soulmate connection. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Pisces, an Aries. And then it seems like um, as you try to make progress with this person, first of all, y'all have a lot of passion for one another. And I truly feel like this is um, a true significant other. But you feel like this person backstabs you. Okay, you're trying to take control of the situation. You're trying to take the lead in this situation and move it forward. Even though in the past there has been some betrayal. Okay, there's been some heartbreak and heartache in this connection in the past. You're trying to take the lead and move this forward and progress this thing. Yeah, give it another try with the wounded warrior. But like I said, every time... You see something going on, you're trying to make progress, you're working hard, you're thinking about it, you're figuring it out. Then you talk to this person about how you're feeling, and there's an argument. It's like, here we go again, an argument, because I'm talking about what, how I feel as the wounded warrior. Okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you, oh, wow, we have the Empress and the Emperor. So this is definitely a divine connection. It's a powerful connection. It is a soulmate connection. It is a true divine love connection here, okay, with a lot of passion. But I do feel the energy where some of you may be pregnant and some of you are taking your own um, power back. Uh, this is like a theme that I'm seeing in my, in my readings, okay? It's like... You're looking at your self-respect, and it's like, I want more than just a passionate um, connection. I want passion, but I want it to be grounded. I want us to be able to grow. I want us to be able to move forward as a power couple. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're standing in your truth. You're standing in your self-respect, okay? The Empress, you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but the Empress actually uh, takes on the lessons of the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords, right? This is royalty, okay? This Empress has earned her seat at the table because she has been through the lessons, okay? And so maybe that's what you've been. You've been through the lessons with this person. You love this person. They love you. But they do have some um, immature, sneaky ways about them. Some of you, you love this person in the dust. I could tell you that right now. Others of you, though, there is somebody willing to give it another chance. 
keep trying for this connection because there is love here and there is passion, a lot of passion here, okay? But someone has built up a defense mechanism, okay? And they want a brand new start, but this person, you see how this nine of wands is looking at the emperor? I feel like, and it can be male or female, but I feel like there's someone here that's quite controlling and they, they move as they please. They do what they please. Okay. Some of you, you left this person because you couldn't get the truth out of them. You could, you were kept arguing, you know, they were always arguing and tit for tat and mind games and manipulation. You left this person and now they feel hurt and they want a new beginning with you. As soon as you take your power back, you stand in your truth. As soon as you get yourself, you know, yourself, you, you check yourself worth your truth. Here they come after you. Yeah, see, some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Some of you may be dealing with um, an Aries who has Pisces in their chart or water in their chart. But this is you being balanced. This is you realizing what it is that you are capable of, knowing you have all power. Somebody may be keeping secrets here, but it's not really a secret because you're not, okay? And we have the um, page of wands here, and that is that energy of an immature conversation, right? Or someone stalking. And then we have the Ace of Cups reversed with the Seven of Cups. So somebody may have had options here, and you, might, you guys may have taken a break, like I said, in the beginning, okay? This is what I am getting, but this is not the end of the reading. I would like to go ahead and pull your, uh, no, first I want to bring out the Divine Feminine Energy. Holy Spirit, can you please tell Virgo what their Divine Feminine Power is in this situation? Yeah, I feel like you got yourself and it's almost like um, a reality check. It's like you hit this bump in the road, you're taking off the blindfolds and you're seeing things for what they are. And it's like you're taking your power back because it's like, I just want to be happy, you know? And every time I express myself, it has to be an argument, like really? We've been through this over and over again. I feel like some of you feel you may have given this person more chances than they deserved, okay? And it's like, as soon as you leave this person, you take your self-respect, you stand up for yourself, and um, here they come running after you. Sending you texts, blowing up your phone, looking at you, stalking you on your social media, okay? Asking your friends about you, and here you are looking like an empress, glowing. Nine of Pentacles, grounded, making your money, didn't tell nobody about your money, and you're doing the damn thing. You fix your crown and you're doing the damn thing. You might have even moved, moved on and um, birthed a new idea financially or something like that. Because here you are. That's you, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. You've made your decision. And it's your way. You're getting what you want, okay? You realize you have all the tools and the resources within you. That's what I see, Virgo. A brand new idea. I got a new attitude. Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo. For this friend, Holy Spirit, what is the divine feminine energy for Virgo? Summarize the Venus people for this spread. What do you want them to know? Virgo. Oh, see? 47 breaking down to 11. So auspicious. This is blessings. Blessings on blessings. Stack blessings on blessings. And it says future. You are, listen, you have your crown on, like I said. You are receiving the download as the high priestess. You already know. Even if you're dealing with a high priestess, they know as well. The Virgo is the hermit, right? You looked within. You saw, you saw the answers within. You looked behind you. You reflected on what was going on. And you made a decision about your future. And then we have 50 breaking down to a five, which speaks of change, and it says humor. So some of you, you know, 
the best way to um, get out of a funk is to watch a comedy, read a funny book, hang out with friends, have some laughs, have some jokes. Don't lose your humor, okay? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Potential. Yes. You see this? This is the third eye chakra. Okay. I'm not calling out the names because they are very hard for me to pronounce. These are some beautiful cards though. Okay. You have potential. You've looked into your future. You've looked within yourself and you realize you have everything at your disposal. You have so much potential, more potential than what this person was giving you credit for. Okay, you're looking good, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're grounded, you're flourishing, you're nourishing, you make practical moves in your life. Even if you have children, you're still going to be doing the damn thing. Okay, and this person knows it. Okay. Okay, so the next card we have here is transformation. You've gone through a transformation of 46 breaking down to a 10. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. But I wanted you to see this card. It is a 43 breaking down to a 7. It speaks of miracles. This is Mother Mary. Um, you are being watched over. You are being guided. And you have celestial backing, okay? Um, you just have to know your worth because everybody else knows it. Everybody else knows it, okay? You have miracles coming your way. All right, now let's bring out the masculine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energy. Let's see what yours is for Virgo, Holy Spirit. Taking back their power, going through a transformation, receiving the downloads from Spirit Dark Source. Looking beautiful, smelling good, glowing, grounded. The future looks lovely. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Virgo. Virgo, Holy Spirit, please. What do we have for Virgo? The masculine energy. Communication. Renewal. And the bottom of the deck, fear. Some of you, um, there's somebody who's fearful not to be with you. They are stalking you. They, see, and then we have death at the bottom of that. Um, yeah, it's a cycle that you guys go through. And someone is fearful to break the cycle and go through the change of transformation because they don't realize their own potential. Others of you, you've already done that and someone else is fearful of losing you. Okay, they think you're gone, gone. You're really gone, gone this time. Okay, and this has been a cycle. That's what this says. Okay, we have fear, death, and rebirth, and cycles. Okay, so this has been, like I said, here we go again, right? Now, um, Hermes is the communication card. This is um, saying that you will receive the passion and desire, okay, to communicate, okay? All of this red here, this is about the sacral chakra, okay? It's our desires, it's our expression, it's about what we want, okay? So you will be expressing through communication what it is you truly want and desire because you're receiving your self-worth, your self-respect, and when you bounce, you're going to let them know why. Or, um, you know, the conversation may renew and you may have a new cycle with this person because we do have renewal here and we have transformation here. So for others of you, this same person that you're with, like I said, it is a power couple with the emperor and the empress. You guys have great potential. Okay. And miracles happen every day. This whole relationship could be turned all the way around, but communication is required. Okay. Communication is required so you both can get on the same page. Okay, now let's see our Believe in Your Own Magic card for you, Virgo. This is for Virgos. Summarize on Venus, people, Holy Spirit, please. Summarize on Venus, people, Holy Spirit. Virgo. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
storm. And ooh, the tree. And at the bottom, stars. Okay. So Virgo, they're saying, like I said in the past, or even currently, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, energy is fluid. This is a 44. It speaks of a storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. So again, potential, right? This is a cycle. This is um, cycles ending and new cycles beginning. So um, when we go through a storm, it doesn't last forever, right? Trouble don't last always, okay? See, fix your crown because you're going to be fine, okay? And then we have tree let them go so i feel like this is literally saying let go of the past right get grounded love on yourself this is an 18 breaking down to a nine again cycles ending and new cycles beginning okay but this person is out here alone um on the grass hugging a tree they're not hugging a tree but i'm thinking hugging a tree meditating Okay, and letting go of the fear, letting go of the anxiety, and embracing what it is you truly desire with all of this red, right? Again, communicating what you want and letting go of the fear of not communicating because with this here, I feel like you need to have some confidence as well. And then we have a five change, and this is beautiful because it says stars. You can manifest your every wish. And remember, I said in the future energies, you have the, the magician, which is the Virgo card. Um, and also stars, that is wishes coming true. Okay? Wishes coming true. You may not see it. You may not feel like it. But there's miracles right here. And they will come true. They will manifest because you're manifesting them. All you have to do is look within, speak to spirit, that source. Speak it into the ethers what you truly, truly want and believe that you can have them because you can, okay? And now let's just pull one. Oh, okay. So this card here says reflect, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. That is the Virgo card. That's the hermit, what I was talking about earlier. Going within, seeking the answers, reflecting, and coming out with your truth. Because it will be different for everybody, okay? Bottom of the deck, again, protection. You are being guided. You are protected. Keep some aqua marina close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create precious gems. Protection. So, protect yourself. Protect your spirit. Protect yourself from you know, negative thoughts, negative energy, and people who seem like they're your friends and they're not. You know what it is that you want, Virgo. You know what it is that you have to do. And keep your secrets to yourself, okay? Because I feel like when you start glowing, okay? When you start glowing, looking sexy, um, and you're probably already in this energy, okay? But when you go through this transformation where you're glowing, growing, standing firm in your truth, looking good, looking fabulous, okay? Looking flawless, okay? This person is going to be running back to you really quickly. You're going to get a lot of attention, but make sure these people are coming into your life for the right reasons, okay? All right? Because I do feel like you're going to be raking in the dough boy or raking in the dough girl, okay? All right? With this nine of pentacles here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, 44 is a, a, a um, powerful number for you guys. You're going through great change. Okay. Keep your cards close to your chest. You're going through great change. Okay. All right. Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope it was enlightening, insightful, and helpful. I love you guys to pieces. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. And until next time. Virgo, please take care of yourselves, okay? Namaste.